Hi, my name is Rachel Kui. I'm a pianist and piano teacher, and I'm going to explain to you today some of the differences between a grand piano and a standard piano or an upright piano. There are a few significant differences. There's, there are differences in the structure, which then produce differences in the sound. So I'm going to walk you through those things here today, and you'll be able to make an informed choice on the piano that you'd prefer. The most apparent difference between a grand piano and a standard or upright piano is in its appearance. An upright piano is different from a grand piano as you're seeing here. An upright piano literally stands upright. It can usually be pushed close to the wall and will stand approximately two to two and a half feet away from the wall. A grand piano, on the other hand, has a long body which takes up far more space. However, the differences between a grand piano and a standard or upright piano extend far beyond just and appearance, of course. The differences in appearance actually result from the inner structure of the piano. Here we're looking at a grand piano, and you can see that inside there, the, the inner structure has made use of the entire frame. In that, we have strings which run horizontally almost the full length of the frame. You're looking at strings that lay flat, and action, and hammers, which match these strings laying horizontally, and a soundboard which fills out the remainder of the area. The keys, of course, are placed uh, in the front of the action. The difference between this and an upright piano is that in an upright piano, you will see these strings positioned vertically rather than horizontally. The hammers and action also follow this. The similarity, of course, is that the keys are still positioned in front of the action. While this may seem like a basic mechanical difference that might not have much bearing on the actual sound of the piano, it has tremendous importance in the type of sound that's produced. An upright piano, because of the nature of its structure, will not produce sound with quite as much depth and you won't be able to hear it from as great a distance, typically. A grand piano, on the other hand, is structured in such a way that it makes full use of being able to release sound to an interested audience. Most people will prefer to use a grand piano in performance situations for this very reason. Grand pianos actually are often preferred for many pianists who are pursuing a musical career on a serious level. However, it should be considered that due to the size and often the price tag on a grand piano, keeping a grand piano at home is not always a practicality. So as you're making a decision about the piano that you'd prefer to have in your home, Bear in mind that a grand piano will give you the most depth of sound. It's going to give you the best performance and practicing situation. However, with consideration to the things that we've talked about today, you can make a choice for an upright piano that will also serve you very well. I'm Rachel Kui, and I'm a pianist and piano teacher.